Welcome to the most beautiful hotel in the world. This is La Casa Mundo or known as world's most beautiful hotel. I stayed in this enchanting property for 2 days and I want to share with you my experience. It all cost me around $300 to stay in this hotel including accommodation, food and some water sports. Welcome to an amazing day in Guatemala and to my channel. It all started by Bill from USA and Rosie from Guatemala met in Alaska and got married. They wanted to build a dream home in Guatemala to its amazing weather, so they bought this land and built their dream home. In 1997, they changed it into a bed and breakfast, and from then it got famous to its current three-story building. After exploring two days in Santa Cruz village in Lake Titlan, I took my boat to La Casa Mundo. We are on the ferry and our boat is coming right there. And I took a private boat. It's not a public one because public I need to wait for long. This is better. It's gonna be just me traveling. First sight of our hotel. Right there, right on the cliff, that's gonna be a hotel. It was my boat. Thanks guys. So here we are on our hotel. Let's go inside and see how do they look like. Only thing which I'm struggling is I need to carry all my bags upstairs and it's like a 50 or 60 steps man i'm tired we're gonna stay here two days two days yeah okay room is ready let's go and check in really good view yeah thank you so okay. much you're welcome thank See you, you. As soon as I checked in, I wanted to explore this three-story building and I couldn't resist at all. Being honest, ground floor is my favorite place over here. You got the dock over here for the ferry and if you come to other side, you will be having the swimming area and there is a lot of hammocks over here. And the main attraction of this property is there are a lot of cliff spaces like this with hammocks. You can have a good view of volcanoes and spend the evening over here for sure. Wait, what? They have a hot tub on the middle of the lake? So good, man. Look at that. But it is reserved for someone else. So I really need to go from here. My God, just look at that. Look, all these spaces are swimming areas. You can literally jump over here and take a dip on this lake. Now, I want to take you to the first floor of the hotel. First floor of the hotel is with the open restaurant right over here. This floor is completely made for the view for the hotel. People who want to have a nice dinner or breakfast with the view, this place is the best ever. Now let's go and check out their second floor, all the way up there. This floor they have their check-in desk over here and they have an amazing restaurant inside. So on first floor they have an open restaurant with the perfect view and on second floor they have a really great restaurant like inside. Oh these Mayan souvenirs are making me afraid. I got one same in my room and I thought it was like a real human. I got paid. Just look at that. So, what was the name of this? Michelada. Michelada. Yeah, Michelada. Welcome to floor 3. The most good looking floor and the best view of the building. If you go all the way here, just look at that. This is the best view of the hotel from here.
and rooms has been spreaded on different floors according to the category and I'm staying on the first floor let's go and have a look at my room and now it's time for room 2 the most awaited moment so I will be staying on room number 21 this is a standard room pretty basic but the view from this room is a uh, main attraction so if you just go outside you'll be seeing the volcano right outside and the beautiful Angitiland lake so when you go inside we'll be having our big double bed some table lamps and we have the big mirror over there then we come to the other side the most famous thing about Guatemala toilets there will be always a view from the toilet and this room also does all that this is the toilet and we'll be having the view right over there that's it with the room it's a pretty good room they have far better rooms like suites which will be like on the top floors so this is basically three floor hotel I'm staying on the second floor if you stay on the top floors you'll be having like a more better view this is it and this is a best view on Lake Atitilan and it's 2 o'clock at the moment and I'm so hungry let's go and check out their lunch menu it's cold seated with the perfect view just have a look on it it's amazing right there are a lot of fancy seats on the corner on the cliff as well there is one over there but it's too sunny over there so I want a bit shade that's why I'm sitting inside over here let's wait for the food now Thank you. I don't have any patience to eat. I'm gonna eat like a pig now. Bye. Oh, I just came out for the sunset. Look at that view with the volcanoes and the boat over there. Guess what? I'm gonna fly my drone. I just made out for the dinner. You know, there's a table on the next cliff over there, like decorated so well. I think it's a couple celebrating or something. That looks really good. And I ordered shrimp. Let's try shrimp from this side. While I was showing you the hotel, there was a bartender making a drink and I didn't show you guys. So I ordered that drink over here. It is mostly a mix of masala and a lot of spices. And we'll be adding there with that. Let's see how it is. It's sour, masala, salt. <laughs> But it's good. It gives me all those Indian vibes back again. Me like it. Let's take a morning dip on this lake right here. I got a life jacket as well. I don't need to risk my life because it's too wavy at the moment. Let's jump in. Made it for the breakfast. I'm sitting on a whole cabin alone myself with a pretty damn view and I ordered breakfast and their smoothies are the best I ordered something which I liked I'll show you just near to this hotel there is a beautiful Mayan town which is right there and it is called San Juan so I badly wanted to visit there when I was planning to stay here let's go and visit that small town oh there's a boat coming it should be going to San Juan let's check with them yeah San Juan Made it after a crazy boat ride. We made it. This so windy over here. Wind is literally taking me down, and it looks like a really big ferry over here. Let's go to the town and see what do they got here. And the main. 
main attraction why everyone comes to San Juan are the umbrellas on the road over here. That's a really good place to take some nice pictures. As soon as you enter the street, there are these uncles over here playing music and making a really good vibe on the street. As you guys all know, Guatemala is really famous for coffee. We are in one of the finest coffee brewery places in San Juan. Let's check it out. So this is a place where they make coffee over here. These are the coffee machines over here. And I think these are the different kind of coffees, I believe. So this is a coffee shop which have their own coffee farms and everything. Currently, they're going to show us over here. How are they going to make the coffee right away from the coffee seed itself? Let's see. Thank you so much. Normally I don't drink caffeinated coffees because it makes me feel weird. But when you're here on Guatemala, you need to try this out. And Guatemala is really rich in cotton industry as well. So I'm in like a weaving company at the moment where they demonstrate everything how to, how what's the process from uh, the seed till how they make till the cotton and there's like a really amazing store over here as well which they make all kind of products with the cotton so when you come places like this buy something and help the locals over here as well and i made to a restaurant for the lunch just have a look at my lunch it's a whole big fish and some nice views let me have it. So, so good. So, we are leaving from here. Thanks for coming back soon. Just yes for when you will one. Pronto. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it was a really amazing stay. See you soon. Bye bye.